Hi, I'm Connor. I'm an LSAT teacher with Stroman, and I got a score of 173 on my LSAT. I'd really like to be able to help students do the same. This video is part of my series on the four parts of the LSAT. Those parts are logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, reading comprehension, and the writing sample. Reading comprehension. This should really be the most familiar section to you. Uh, everybody does it a lot in school, and there's a reading comprehension section on the SAT. So think of it like, while you were in college, the SAT reading comprehension spent a couple years in a Russian prison, and now it's back as a much harder version of itself. They put this on the LSAT because so much of being a lawyer revolves around reading long, dense, and potentially confusing texts, and then not only falling asleep, but thoroughly understanding them, analyzing them, and drawing complex conclusions from them. However, in addition to talking about law, many of these texts draw from the sciences and the humanities, and that can be very intimidating for people. However, they're all uh, constructed in such a way that any college-educated non-expert can understand them. So the key to tackling the texts is to keep your cool and not panic. This section contains the largest number of questions in any of the LSAT sections, although like the others, you're only given 35 minutes to complete the section. Generally, it will be divided into um, five different uh, texts within the four sections. Uh, three of the texts are, are simply long pieces that you have to read and analyze. Uh, the other section involves two separate texts that you have to read and then compare and contrast. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our other LSAT videos and please subscribe. I'll see you in class.